Working with style sheets has become easier in Quark Express 9. Let's go to this text box here. I'll zoom in a bit. There's no text in there yet. However, you can see that I applied the style sheet small title white for that text box. And if I edit that, you can see it uses a next style. So when I hit return, the body text is the next style sheet that will be applied. And the same thing for body text. So if I edit body text white, you can see it switches back to small title white. So they are alternating styles. That means if I put a headline in here, I hit return. Now any body text, you can see that I've changed automatically the style sheet that's going to be applied. And as soon as I hit return, I can put in the next headline. So the text is actually, the style sheets are actually alternating. That works fine for text that I enter new. However, if I have text like here that already exists and I would like to achieve such an effect, that is now possible in Quark Express 9 also, which is really cool and really helpful. For that, all I need to do is I will just select all of the text where I want to apply this. Now, the first style sheet that I want to apply to the first line is the small title white. So I right mouse click that, I'll get a contextual menu and I will apply the style sheet using next style. As soon as I click on that, you can see that the whole text formatted and now I have this alternating style that I set up in my style sheet applied to every paragraph, to every line that I have selected. Another functionality regarding style sheets in Quark Express 9 is the possibility to apply a paragraph style sheet and either remove or retain local formatting. Like in this example, I have a style sheet called any style sheet and somebody locally applied in italics and a bold style here. So if I want to apply my body text white, I have two options. I can either say, I want to apply the style sheet and remove the local formatting. If I do that, you can see that bold and italics, the two words here, are actually being formatted the way the body text describes it. If I undo that and I do that again, and I'll go to my style sheet and I say body text white, right mouse click this, and I say I want to apply the style sheet and retain the local style formatting, then you can say, see that the word here, italics, stays italics, and the word bold also stays bold. And maybe a third thing to show with what has changed with Quark Express 9 and what has been added regarding style sheets is, what if I want to replace one style sheet with the definition of another one? So let's say I have my my small white title here and I would like to have my small white title the same way as my medium title gold without deleting the style sheet. So what I can do now is I select a line where the style sheet is in that I want to replace the other one with and I click on the small white title but I don't just click on it because then of course that line would change to a white title. I just right mouse click it and I say, I want to apply the style sheet and maintain the appearance. So what happens is in my layout, it doesn't look much different. Still the small white title is being applied and you get this plus sign. And if I look at it by moving the mouse over my update button, you can see that basically the definition of the white style sheet has been applied and the golden style sheet still looks the same way. And now by clicking on the update button, what you can see is that the definition that I have selected here is written into the style sheet, of course comes out and applies to every white title. And you can see now that I have replaced one style sheet with another without having to delete it.